spent quite a bit of time thinking about this term. There's two white and a red in the in the source. This pure magic could be real helpful to me. I'm going to use mana search. I'm going to re-roll one of these white ones just in case it gives me a few more options. It's gold, so that's depleted. That was not helpful. What I'd like to do if possible is move into this magical glade which will help me clear up a uh, wound from my discard pile and take out this orc here which should be enough it's not quite enough to get me to level up but pretty close um, I can't explore any further down this coastline so I need to get back over this way as well so let's see if I can generate five movement here and then do enough to kill this orc the toughest part is going to be to generate this five movement because I don't have the right coloured mana so I'm going to have to play March for two, Swiftness for two, that's four, and then I think I think I'll just play Mana Draw here for one sideways to give me five movement. And with that five movement, I can move into this forest. Remember, during the night, the forest costs five. And for my action, I'm going to assault these orcs. Let's take a look at these orcs once more. Um, we're not going to do any ranged attack. They've got physical resistance as well. So I realised I had this ranged attack. I could have powered it for three, but I need six because they've got physical resistance. I need six ranged attack to kill them. So we then move into the block phase. I need to generate four block to block this attack. which I'm going to do using my red cape monks. So I'm going to activate these units and I'm going to power it with red mana from the source. So let's take this, place it here, fire block four. So this blocks the attack of these orcs. Now it's my turn to attack. I need to generate six physical attack or three ice and fire attack. Now I've got my skill. So I'm going to use two fire attack to reduce this to one. Now I need to generate one fire or ice attack or two. Remember it's half physical, physical attacks are halved two physical attack and I can do this really with my determination attack two so for my final card I'm going to play determination attack two which is enough to kill these orcs so these orcs are discarded and they give me four fame one, two, three, four. Not quite enough to level up. Um, but obviously I do also get plus one reputation. My reputation is looking pretty solid now. Um, and I should be close to leveling up now. Just one more thing. Right, that's my turn ended. So let's re-roll the mana dice. It's a white. This goes back in the source. And let's clear up our play area. These are discarded. And because I ended my turn on a magical glade, I get to throw away one wound from my discard pile. So, one wound, throw it away. And I get to draw back up to five cards. Two, three, four, five. My D deck is now empty. Dummy player's turn. There's only one card left, so dummy player will declare end of round next turn. Okay, start of my next turn. I've started on a magical glade, so I, it's night time, so I get one black mana and I push this in my player area. 
Okay, let's see what we can do. Um, I might want to use mana search again as well. So, um, but I think the aim for this turn, if I can, is to explore. Maybe recruit. I don't know. Let's see. Right, first thing I know I'm going to do is claim mana search, and I'm going to re-roll up to two. So gold first, and one of these whites. Let's see what we get. Two blacks. Gosh. Not that I can really use those, because I don't have many spells. Right, I feel a bit trapped in by the sea, and by the forests, and not having enough movement, really. I need to get out of these woods. So, let's see if I can't generate. What do I need? I need to get through the woods and explore, so I want seven movement. Well, we've got two from swiftness, two more from stamina, that's four. I need three more. I can use pure magic with green mana, but there is none. This lets me heal while well, I've got no more wound cards to come in my hand, so that's not going to be very useful to me. Improvisation then. Discard another card from your hand to get move three. So I'm going to discard Tranquility um, and play Improvisation for three move. That's seven move. So with my seven movement then, I'm going to use five. Gosh, these woods are very, these forests are very hard to travel through during night. So it's five there, and I'm going to use two more to explore here. So let's grab a terrain tile, another countryside tile. And this goes here. We need to draw one of these. Now we have to keep it face down. And this goes here, face down, where we can't see it. We also have a village here and a white crystal mine. Unfortunately, we have hills. And they cost three to get through. That's not too bad. Could be worse. Right, there's nothing else I can do with this, so I'm going to end my turn. I've not spent any mana. Let's tidy these up. Discard. And my D deck is empty. So, ah, oh, and this black mana is unspent, so that gets thrown away. Dummy player has an empty D deck now, so he's going to declare end of round. So I get one more turn. But there's not a great deal I can do. I mean, I could generate some movements um, with this pure magic if I had green mana. So let's use my mana search. Um, and re-roll two mana from the source. A red and a blue. So that's not helped. The only thing that that generates is um, block or attack. So really nothing to do on my turn. I have to discard and now we move into the end of round. So that's the end of the first night. So we need to flip this. Revolve the mana dice. Red, green, blue. Show that it's now daytime. This one goes to the dummy player's deck. Let's reveal our new advanced action. We have Steady Tempo, the offer. Let's discard this spell. This is Snowstorm Blizzard, so this is a blue one. So the dummy player gets a blue crystal. Let's discard this and refresh the spell offer. So we have two blue crystals here now. Now we're going to shuffle this one, make a new deep deck, refresh the unit offer. 
one, two, three peasants, foresters, youth and guardsmen. And there's two monasteries, so this one gets discarded. And we place two more advanced actions for the monasteries. Swift Bolt and Pathbinding. And for our hero, this one now gets thrown away. Reset our units. And then we'll reshuffle this for our, to become our lead deck. And we're ready to go. Okay, that's all shuffled, so that just leaves me to draw five cards and then pick my tactics for day two. Right, let's take a look. I think the tactic I'm going to choose this turn is mana steel. It says when you take this tactic, take one mana die the basic colour from the source and put it on this card and I can use that and I need my turns this day. So I'm going to use mana steel and I think I'm going to take this green mana dice. Um, now the dummy player gets to randomly choose one of these three remaining daytime tactics. And anytime this one the right moment. So my tactic was three, the right moment is six. I'll get to go first on this turn.